Alrighty guys, what's going on? My name is Mr. Boss Thwan, as you guys already know that, and I'm going to be taking it back a little bit today. No Black Ops 2, no news, no insight, but I do want to thank you guys. Over the past few weeks, I've been focusing on Black Ops 2 videos, what I'm expecting, and you know, what rumors and information I've heard. And those videos have been going over so well. You guys have been showing them so much support with all the likes and the favorites and all that. And But you guys have also been asking me to bring back some story ops. Now, for the past month and a half, I haven't been playing Modern Warfare 3, and I've been going back to Black Ops. And you know what that means? When I tell a story over Black Ops gameplay, that equals Story Ops. Woohoo! So I'm bringing that back today. And I just wanted to say that, um, you know, I'm going to do Story Ops here now, every now and then, because it's fun. And I like doing that, and I like telling awesome stories. But just so you guys know, thanks for all the support on the Black Ops 2 videos. And if you want to drop a like on this video, do that. That'd be awesome. It would help me out, too, uh, for people who are here, not for just the Black Ops 2 videos, but for my stories. Okay, so about a month and a half ago, I told you how I got into my first car accident. It wasn't my fault. Someone, some lady, I should say, ran into me from the rear. I know that sounds a bit sexual, but that's okay. Because she was playing with her dog in the back seat. Okay, so to set the scene, I'm basically going to be telling, telling you how my car was totaled. Again, wasn't my fault, just letting you know that. Okay, so it was Tuesday morning, the Tuesday morning after President's Day, and our university decided not to have class that day, which is always nice. I always enjoy a day off of not having class and not having to sit through a boring AP language class, which I hate. Okay, so it was about 9 a.m., and I decided, hey, I want a biscuit from Hardee's. Now, if you don't know what Hardee's is, on the West Coast and in the Middle East, not in the Middle East, but in the uh, Midwest, sorry, uh, it's called Carl's Jr. They're the same store. They just have different names for each other based on the region that they are located in in the United States. And they make really good biscuits. They have great breakfast. And my dad texts me halfway through my breakfast, and he's like, hey, would you mind picking up uh, a biscuit or whatever for your sister and your mother? They're, they're kind of hungry as well, and they just woke up. So I said, sure, I would do that. And so I got their breakfast, and I got in the car, and I started driving home. Now, I can either take two routes home. One is a kind of a more direct route, but, but it's more on like a highway-ish, busier road, I should say. And one is kind of like a back road, um, you know, where kind of have to go slower because there's a lot of house houses and whatnot so I decided to take the fast way and go on the main highway now I was about to get to the turn the right turn right before I get to my neighborhood and I decided to merge in front of this RV now keep in mind I did all the correct trafficking signals I gave myself enough room I showed her that I had a blinker on for a long time and there was it happened to be a car in front of me as well it was a black Acura and so I was coming to the turn and the black Acura slowed down a little quicker than normal, but nothing out of the unusual. And so I had to slam on my brakes. Not like, like I said, slam on my brakes, but not like, oh, wow, I'm slamming on my brakes. Really difficult. And so I see this RV behind me. And can, think about like 1970 RV. And on the side, it had a pet grooming service. A pet grooming service RV from the 1970s hit me at about 50 miles an hour rear-ended me because her brakes locked up because in 1970 we didn't have a thing called anti-lock brakes and so my car was crushed um, and I actually put a picture on Twitter I'm sure you can go find it if you follow me on Twitter that link will be in the description obviously as well and so like I was saying my car was crushed and the guy in front of me in the Acura was really pissed and he was pointing at me like I did something wrong I put my hands in the air like no no not my fault, sir. No, do not get mad at me. Get mad at woman on cell phone driving RV from Back to the Future. And so my car was crushed, and for the past three weeks, I have had a rental car. However, the rental car was very nice, as it was a 2012 Dodge Charger, uh, which is a, a very fast vehicle, but it does eat gas quite a bit. And so kind of the moral of the story is she was driving on her phone and driving on her phone she was driving while talking on her phone and she wasn't paying the most attention so if that's one thing you can get out of it please get out of it but I've also realized that I have a really bad string of luck so I was stabbed in the eye that's my second car accident and if you remember a while ago I said I was going to see Skrillex I had my appendix taken out so I wasn't able to go see him so that was unfortunate and I've been running into a bit of bad luck lately but that's how my car was totaled. I was crushed uh, by a RV from the 1970s after enjoying a nice breakfast at Hardee's or Carl's Jr. or whatever you want to call it. But anyways, this gameplay is coming to a close. This was like a 45 and 6 or a 44 and 6 TDM. 
So a pretty good game, not too bad if I do say so myself. But remember to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed, and other than that, I will talk to you later. Have a nice day, and I will see you in the next video.